Hi friends, in the last video we saw how to create a base plugin using this boilerplate. In this video we are going to see how to set up a basic requirements for the plugin. What I mean by that is sometimes, not sometimes, in fact always uh, we have to define a certain PHP version that our plugin is compatible with. Not only PHP, we also need to define a WordPress version with which our plugin is compatible with. So to do that, what we can do is, once we have uh, created our base plugin, there is this requirements config.php file. And in this PHP file, we can define the configuration, requirement configuration for our plugin. So by default, the file that we get, it has a default PHP version set to 5.6. So if our customer has a PHP uh, lower than 5.6 then in that case it put through an error. Similarly we have here a minimum WP version that means if a customer has installed or if a customer is running our plugin on the WordPress which is lower than 4.8 then in that case it will throw an error. Uh, coming to the next key here it is a multi if our plugin is compatible with multi-site or not so sometimes we have to create a plugin which needs to be multi-site compatible if uh, our plugin supports the multi-site compatibility then in that case we should set this to true also there is this another section of required plugins uh, so for example uh, you would use this in an example when you are writing an extension to the plugin uh, uh, example that comes to my mind is a lot of times uh, I write an extension for WooCommerce so in that case it is necessary to have uh, this block configured here if you were writing the extension for WooCommerce then it would look something like this so the first thing here is the name of the plugin so this name that we define here this name will be shown in the error message that a customer sees then here is the plugin slug for WooCommerce it is uh, WooCommerce slash WooCommerce.php and the minimum version of the WooCommerce that we would like to support if we were writing the WooCommerce extension so let's say I, we were creating an extension which supports WooCommerce 3.5 and above then this is how we would have written our block now what happens is if the requirements that we have configured here or mentioned in this file are not met then in that case our plugin deactivates itself and uh, it throws an error it, it, it shows the error messages which are relevant to the cause of deactivating itself configuration file is read every time whether we are activating the plugin or it is already activated so in both cases this uh, requirement configuration file works so uh, on my computer on my system i have installed a minimum php version i have installed php 7.1 i believe let's quickly check php minus b so it is php 7.1 i have installed so this requirement is going to be satisfied again uh, the wordpress that i have installed here is 5.0 so this requirement will also get satisfied however i i haven't installed woocommerce yet okay we don't see woocommerce here i have deactivated example me plugin and now i'm going to activate it again in this case uh, it says here that plugin is getting deactivated because it needs a WooCommerce plugin which is not available right now right so in short this is how it this is how the requirement configuration works see you in the next video thank you